But tonight, I'm going to be blushing because somebody else is going to be <laughs> making me laugh in the studio. Lots of you know him and love him and follow him on Instagram. And if you are not following him, I don't really know who you are following in this life. His name is Francis Sule, actor, illustrator, online comedian, and everything in between. It's good to have you, Francis. Part-time superhero. <laughs> hey, hey. So <laughs> Thank you for having me. If you me. could be a superhero, what would be your superhero name? Hmm. Frankie Longlegs. Uh -uh. Franklin Long Legs. No, Frankie Long Legs. Frankie Long Legs. Yes. Wow, wow. Reach everywhere quickly in the blink of an eye. And the traffic in Lagos <laughs> is not going to stop you. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you. Thank you. Thank oh. you so much for having so, me. So let's talk about uh, you doing what you do. Before okay. we talk about your illustrating, I know you're an illustrator, you're an actor, you're a voiceover voice act, artist. Yeah. But what did you study in school? Urban and regional planning. So I'm a trained town planner. So yes, study for five years. How did you And switch? I don't practice. <laughs> how did you switch? Mm, I don't know. There was no switch. So you go to school. I actually wanted to do architecture. So I thought it was going to take too much of my time. I said, okay, what's the nearest thing I can do? I said, town planning. Went to school, did it, came out. No, it's not working. I want to be on screen. So I started acting. And then my voice as well. So I did some voicing. And then Instagram happened. <laughs> can you remember the very first video that made you quote-unquote blow? I know it. <laughs> I'm, yes, I do. So my friend, at the time, Maraji just did her, um, what's it called, an accent challenge. And my friend said, oh, yeah, you do accents as well, so why don't you do something? I'm like, who is going to watch it? Who wants to see? So I did the video, put it up. Two weeks went by. I said, oh, let me send this to my mom just to show her. She did a Chris Jenner on the video, sent it to every and anyone that she knew. So I think the next day, people started sending it to me back from Canada, like, oh, this on our prayer group, this in my school WhatsApp group, and I think like the next morning was on Twitter, two million views. I was like, wow. okay. And you hadn't posted it, posted it on your Instagram? No, it was right? on my Instagram. Like two weeks had gone by, nothing happened. Oh, so mom, see now, praise, she praised me on look the matter. At, look <laughs> at the power of mothers. Very, yes. very powerful stuff. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Let's talk about your mimicking. You know, how did you learn how to mimic? Uh, my mom does impressions, funny enough. I've always been very, you know, expressive and artsy, and they encourage me at home. We're just very funny people at home. So, yeah, my dad is big on languages. That's how I, you know, like and learn accents. So I got that from him. And then impressions just from watching movies. Where, how many languages can you speak? Hmm. And where are you from? Now, where are you from? Question. Now, where are you from? It's, it's boom. <laughs> yes, it's because I know you also do, you have different personas on Instagram. Yes. You have your personality, Franklin Sule, mm -hmm. you know, and where you're basically doing the, is it Frank, Frank talk? talk? Yes. Yes. And then you, you also have the prof. You have Miss Edith. Miss Edith. <laughs> exactly. So you have different personalities. You kill that Akwai Bum accent so well. Makes me think, okay, he might be from Akwai Bum. So where exactly mm, are you from? No. <laughs> well, there's a huge debate online as to where I come from, and I don't like to share because I like to keep people guessing. But maybe I'll just share here. Okay, tell us. I'm from Edo State. The lie. Ouchie. Wow. And I don't speak a word of my language, funny enough. <laughs> so where did the Akwai Bum um, influence it's come It's magic. From? <laughs> you don't have any parents that's from Oh, there. no, no, no. My, my mom is from a quiet room, so... Aha! Uh -huh. I said it! <laughs> how about... Uh, tell us about your different characters and how you had to formulate all of them. Okay, so... I've never said this anywhere before. This mm. is an exclusive. Exclusive! <laughs> Miss Edith was inspired by a living, breathing person. So a friend of mine was telling me about her lecturer in school, in Suka. And I think she did MASCOM, I think. And so a prof, a lecturer back then was called Edith, or is called Edith, Edith Ohaja. And she's very lofty, you know, very particular about English. She says, my name is Edith, not Edith. It's Edith. Edith. So I was like, ah, if this mom was British, she goes strong. And that's when it clicked. Like, oh, Edith. So I just made mine, you know, cantankerous, belligerent, hates her husband, very bored, rich. That's where it came from, basically. And your characters are a little bit very cantankerous. Well, not all of them. I mean... Which one isn't? I'm not. <laughs> that's the only one. <laughs> Let's take a look at his videos. We will come back <laughs> to speak some more with him. But let's check out his videos and what he actually sounds like when he is not being prim and proper. <laughs> when I first come to New York as model, I'm not really knowing how to speak English. My English not very good now, but uh, I'm talking better than I speak before. Da. Hello there. My name is Jones. Jeffrey Jones. And for the next six seconds, I will be showing you exactly why Englishmen do make the best villains. My brother, I can't hear first, make I tell you something. You see this material now? Now the original white to enjoy the wear forever, no? If you don't take a knife, you go see this fabric again, buy a knife. Okay, you say you are going where? Oru Yonsen Street. Okay. Come. You see that road right there now? 
Yeah, yeah, ka, ka. you go, 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 go straight. Mm? When you go, you come stop when you reach that roundabout. When you reach that roundabout, you now go up. You turn right. You go see one madam there. You know the place. In one. Mind blowing. Unbelievable. Hey, now I'm going to teach you how to say a few things in my language. You say, Mary Nam, Francis. Hey, you go. Ma'am, I grew up in a small town where it's like everybody knows everybody. So you really don't want to mess up because you don't want to end up in the local newspaper or something. In the beginning, everything was really amazing. Now it's totally different and I'm sitting here feeling stupid. So now me truly done for real. Me not trying to do no more thing for you. Go find someone else to do your ear for you. In the Amazon, we like to keep everything larger than life. Fashion is about uh, attitude. But my life, you're going to be having a party. Everyone needs to be happy. You can't have me over and the food is not great. Hi, bo. The wine has to be wavy. Atmosphere is so tight, ne? How you win? Come on, listen to me. You know there's really something special about us and the way we walk and the way we talk. You really can't do nothing about it, eh? You know, like, sometimes I get really confused about what I want to be. It's like, do you want to be pretty or you want to be rich? Oh my god, I want to be pretty rich. So, this is me doing a generic American accent, nothing really fancy. Just the kind of stuff you hear in movies, you know? You know what, Darnell? I'm not even trying to hear nothing that's coming out your mouth right now, because all you do is laugh. And I'm praying that, ooh, I'm praying to Jesus to calm my spirit because, ooh, I'm finna catch a case. Ooh, help me, Lord Jesus, child. And that is a snap or a clip, <laughs> an excerpt of the amazing and the awesomeness of Francis Sully. That was your very first video. And over time, you know, you've improved your craft. But that video was amazing. Tell us about all these, you know, these different countries and these different accents that you picked up. Do you have to rehearse them? Do you pick them up from movies? How do you get to learn them? I honestly don't know. That's just the honest answer. I really have no idea. So if I want to do an accent, what I've learned is it's, it's, it's helpful to be specific with the sound you want to make. So you need to know what you're listening out for, and then you can do it. I don't even know the difference between a lot of all these accents. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need to know what it sounds like before you can. So it's off like the drawing. top of your head, how many <laughs> accents do you think you can conveniently do? Uh, that was 14, and then there was a follow-up video where I did 10, so that's 24. 24 accents. Yes, because when that one went viral, my people said, you know, you need to keep doing more, right? I was like, oh, okay, so what do I do next? So I did 10 more. <laughs> so Francis Ole can, off the top of his head, do 24 accents. You <laughs> best believe I'll put you to the test before we wrap up this conversation. Yeah, Maybe not bring the 24 me of them. <laughs> what? What are you going to say? Wara. I want to drink Wara. <laughs> I'm going to bring a bit of Wara for you. Let's talk about your, your art. You know, you're an illustrator. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm believing that somehow it's a bit linked to what you study because you do a lot of drawing, drawing as well. Yeah. But at what point did you really realize that you love illustrating and you're pretty good at it? Hmm, illustrating professionally about eight years ago, but I've, I've been drawing all of my life. Everyone draws at home. My sister draws, my brother draws, my mom draws. So it's, it's an inborn thing. It's an innate quality. So. All right. I, I believe we have some of the photos that you've drawn. Okay. But what, what inspires you on who to draw? Do you have to be in a particular mood? before you decide who you want to draw? Well, true. If, if someone's inspiring and, I don't know, maybe I like their movie, I like their song, something, beauty, I'm very drawn to beauty, so... All right, so this um, first illustration is Tony Tones. Yeah, that's Tony Tones. I mean, she's an amazing actor and she looks awesome. Oh. So what's not to love? Was well, she <laughs> actually looking like that when you drew her or you, you superimposed their looks, like their clothing? No, that's, so that's my design, the dress. So the I designed the dress, design. yes. Wow. Okay, up next we have... Um, a in a wig way in the next slide. Ooh. <laughs> did he see this and how was his reaction? Yeah, he did. He liked it. <laughs> I'm going to put you to test. You must do an illustration of me. Yeah, now? So not now, <laughs> now. Not now. <laughs> Calm down. On the average, how long does it take you to get one picture done? It depends on how I'm feeling, to be honest. So if there's a deadline or if I'm doing something for a client, then there is a deadline. But if it's just for me, I can take my time. Okay. All right. Um, away from your illustration, what are... There's some other things that you've always looked forward to. Do. I know you're an actor as well. And yes, I, I am. recently saw that, I think sometime this year, you won an award. Congratulations oh, on that. Thank you. How did that make you feel inside your spirit? My chest was doing boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> My first full length feature, and I got an award. I mean, it's really reassuring. So Amazing. I hope to do more of that. Yeah, thank you so that. much. Thank so you. So, what's, so, what's so the future much. for you with regards to the entertainment industry? You're dominating, you know, you're doing your illustration, you're doing your accents. You are an amazing voice of artist. I mean, everybody can hear how rich and creamy and chocolatey your voice is. Thank you, Mom and Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do your prayers sound like that? 
Yeah, yeah, sure. It came from somewhere. <laughs> Definitely had to. So what, what's the future for Francis Sully? What are some of the things we should be looking out to seeing you doing? Uh, I don't like to, you know, talk about my plans. I just let them unfold. But yeah, I'm working on, you know, extending what I've started and just seeing where that takes me. All right, who would you say are some of your favorite arts on social media? Social media now has a class of its own with regards to comedy. So there are people who are stand-up comedians, the ones that we know on, yeah. on stage. But you, your category, we have the social media generation of comedians. <laughs> who would you say are your faves? The real Femi. I mean, his stuff is very intelligent. Like, it's, it's the wittiness that I look out for. It's super, super intelligent, well thought out. Miraji is awesome. She takes her time to edit. The stories are on point. Her acting is phenomenal. And my friend Steve Chooks, he's awesome. So yeah, off the top of my head, those are some of the people that I readily look out for online. And what is your your affair with Chigol? You're always doing uh, your you're always Miss in comedy Edith, together. The posh wives, darling, the posh diaries. <laughs> <laughs> so Chigol, Chigol's character and mine, they're friends. They're rich, bored, posh housewives, and they're always gossiping. They have like a clique, you know, as you do when you're rich. Rich yeah. people things. Rich people I, things. I, I, I wish we had a few of that, you know, the English one. I'm hoping, I don't know if we have that video, the English video of Miss Edith, Miss Edith. Miss Edith, Edith, Edith darling. Edith then the one where he had the Ibubio accents, okay. you know, the prof and all that. So on, on, on the average, wh how long would you say that it takes you to create? What's the creative process between, uh, behind making a video? Now, some people tell you they have to script. Some others will tell you, I just think on the spot and I shoot. And someone tell you, I have to do 554 takes before I get the one minute that everyone sees on Instagram. What's yours? Oh, there's definitely no 554. Just about two takes at most, to be honest. And then sometimes, it, sometimes I wake up and it's just there, so I record. Sometimes I'm not feeling good. And then there's pressure online, like, oh, aren't you going to post today? Aren't you going to post? I'm like, uh -huh, uncle, I have a life, okay? We're going to wait for inspiration because I can't rush it. Exactly. True. We can't rush it. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, Thank you so, so much for having me. Thank We're going to be wrapping up this conversation <laughs> by checking out maybe one or two of his videos just so you see what his other flavors are like of recent. But how can people follow you on social media? Okay. On Instagram, I'm Francis Sule, at Francis Sule. And on Twitter, I'm Frankie Longlegs. All right. Francis Sule, Frankie Longlegs. These are the handles to follow to keep up to date with what he's doing. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.